I like this a lot. Greetings, YouTube, and welcome to the Blue Corner. And just a bit of warning to you guys, I'm currently feeling a little ill, so my voice and just, yeah, I'm going to be sounding a bit off in this video as I'm dealing with a cold, but uh, that's not stopped me from talking about Art, Brave Dragon, and Guardian of Felgrand in the upcoming Felgrand structure deck, which at this point we can pretty much consider to be its archetype. Like, we have two things in the, no, four things in the name Felgrand on it, plus it's based on level seven and eight dragons from the graveyard. So, Felgrand archetype, Felgrand thread a go go. This is definitely not Disaster Dragon, as the two decks play very differently. So, you know, we have a retrained version of Dark Blaze Dragon, or Dark, yeah, Dark Blaze Dragon, which I thought, pretty sure I mentioned in my initial review of these guys, and what I also remember seeing in my Felgrim videos was that this structure deck needs some kind of dragon that has the effect to revive another dragon from the graveyard, be it when it's special summoned or some other means. Arc Brave Dragon does a pretty good job of that, so let's dive right into this thing. Arc Brave Dragon is the second ultra rare from this structure deck, and his effect is if he is special summoned from the graveyard, you banish as many face up spell trap cards your opponent controls as possible, and if you do, he gains 200 attack and defense for each card banished by this effect. That in itself is a pretty strong ability, it already makes him considerably better than Dark Blaze Dragon. And granted, he only hits face-ups, but given that we're in the Pendulum Era, blowing away a scale is already pretty good. Blowing away, like, continuous spell on traps your opponent might have in play. It's actually hilarious against Monarchs. They have a Dominion, March, and Unearthing the Monarchs, whatever that thing is, plus uh, Escalation the Monarchs. Blow them all away, and now you have your big-ass monster. But wait! There's more. Once per turn, during the standby phase of the next turn after he is sent to the graveyard... <laughs> oh, I like I like where this is going. You can target a level 7 or 8 dragon type monster in the graveyard except himself and special summon it. Now, it's interesting that they word it this way, as it implies that you'll wait a while for him to get his effect off, but in actuality, it's the same activation window as Grunix. So, if... He dies on your... If he goes to the graveyard during your turn, then during your opponent's standby phase, his effect goes off and you bring back a dragon, possibly a Felgrand, and out a card in the field, or a White Spirit Dragon, or what have you. So, that's good in itself. And the fact that he gets his effect from being sent, period. Not from field, not from hand, he just has to be sent. This enables so much, and it makes Dragon Shrine ridiculous, as you can just go Shrine for White Spirit Dragon, dumping this thing alongside it, and then on your opponent's standby phase, this guy goes off, White Spirit Dragon comes out, banishes a spell or trap card. Look at that, plus two. And the uh, Dragon Shrine's minus one, but you get the point, though. And he gets this effect from being detached as exceeds material, attributed, like, this thing is really good. Although I think it's going to be competing with White Spirit Dragon for deck space. I don't know how many of these I would run, but it's a really good card. I, I like this thing a lot. And then we have the Guardian of Felgrand, which is the second one of the level 4 warrior dudes. So, Monk target, Rota target, and 500-500. However, now when he's normal or special summon, you can equip a dragon from a level 7 or 8 dragon from your hand or graveyard to him. He gains half the attack and defense of the monster equipped. And if you contribute him plus one other monster to target level 7, the same effect as the Paladin. So he's arguably better than Paladin because he can get bigger, but he's also worse in that you can't just summon it turn 1 and equip from the deck. You can equip from the hand, but perfectly honest, I consider equipping dragons from the hand to be a minus, whereas if you can equip from the deck or graveyard, you get a technical plus 1 in overall card economy. Granted, equipping is like not a real advantage, but you get my point. This means that I think this guy is probably going to be a two of. I don't know a, th a three. Paladin will probably be your opening play, and this will be your later play. Making him big, though, is really good. Like, if you equip, say, a Blue Eyes or a White Knight, then he becomes 2,000, which is enough to beat over Master Pendulum. Kind of relevant if your opponent has got a Dragon's Bind on it. Who knows? And if you equip, I don't know, a Felgrand or a Lad to it, then he becomes 18. So that's 19. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, he becomes 19, which is enough to beat over Vector Pendulum and uh, Rector and whatnot. Granted, you're not really worrying. You're not plowing Pendulums in this deck, but you get the point, though. And then the recursion effect is sometimes helpful. I find it it's going to be really difficult to generate 
the cards needed to get these special summon effects off. As Ruins of the Great Dragon, I think, is a, not a good card. I've seen pe people talk about options such as scapegoats, as you can just tribute off the goat tokens for these guys. I don't know about that. I might look into it. But as it is, though, these are very nice additions to the Felgrind deck. I still don't know how to go about building this thing. I think it's going to need some more stuff, as these new cards, they're great. They're good, but I don't see them being good enough in the current format. At the very least, though, the structured deck itself has some pretty good cards confirmed for reprints. We're getting Breakthrough Skill, the Mini Chaos Dragons, Eclipse Wyvern, Original Foghorn Dragon, Red Med, Trade-In, Ravine, and Dragon's Rebirth. Red Med getting another reprint is always nice. It's Normal Parallel Wear. Hmm, that's neat. But, ooh, Normal Parallel Wear Ravine. But seeing these things at the reprint is always a good thing. Of course, means that Red Men's not going any. Well, Red Men's not getting banned. I wonder if they would actually put him at two to promote this deck, and it makes this a pretty interesting structure deck for structure deck tournaments. If you can get Red Men on a board and make a stick, I imagine you're gonna win, just because you can just bring back Felgrand or you can bring back Arc Brave Dragon. It's a pity you can't revive Red Med with Arc Brave, but that'd be too disgusting. Just um, yeah, uh, I'm. I don't really know what else I can say on these guys other than. Yeah, they're good. They're going to need some more stuff. Like, I'm expecting to see at least one more new spell or trap card to help give this thing a shot in the arm so it can compete. Because I don't know if a pure out-of-the-structure out deck build is going to work much like Monarchs and Magicians would. At the moment, I think Felgrand Blue Eyes is probably the best way to play the deck, but we'll see. But, yeah, that's all i got to say on this video. So, yeah, Dark Blaze Dragon... He's back, and he's considerably better than ever. And I, I'm pretty certain this is, in fact, a Dark Blaze. Yep, there he is. Retrained version of Dark Blaze Dragon. Mm -hmm. So, it's good to see you back. Yeah, considerably stronger. And we'll see how you turn out. Share your thoughts on the confirmed more extra support for Falgrad. And hey, the... Reprints are also nice. Plus, I guess there's going to be a jump promo called uh, so that's an, another uh, Herald of Creation clone. Who knows how that'll work? Maybe you can discard a dragon from your hand to special summon a dragon from your graveyard. Who knows? That'd be nice, but probably not. Anywho, that's all I got to say for this video. I've been rambling on too long, so I'll just wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, this is Blue Starter Nine. Checking out.